Oh, it smells like home in here. I hauled a bunch of firewood during the move here, and I forgot to sweep out my truck. It's been a busy couple of days. We got these cookies from our realtor, uh, who sold us the house here, or helped us buy this house. And she gave us cookies, but there's no ingredients on it, so Brett has a lot of uh, serious allergies to some stuff. So she can't eat them because she doesn't know what's in them. But I can eat them. Timmers. Timmy horse. Diesel. Would you like a Timbit? So like I was saying before this move, this truck needs a good detail. And I have not had time to even attempt this feat. I'm going to bring it to uh, the detailer here in town. It does a really good job at DM Trader guy. Uh, he does a great job. He did my wife's vehicle once and it looked and smelled absolutely brand new. Like it just rolled off the production line and you sat in it for the first time. It was like getting back a brand new car. We were very impressed to say the least. So we're going to go and get this truck done as well because this truck was already dirty. I'm not as clean as my wife. I like to have things clean but Stuff builds up, you know? Plus I have diesel in here to and from the truck. So that happened, that happens. There's hair everywhere that builds up very quickly. It doesn't matter how much you vacuum in a small space like this. I can keep up with it in the semi because I vacuum like three, four, five times a day in the semi. It's very hard to like find the time and vacuum the car. So, or the pickup, sorry, it's not a car. So uh, once we get our, uh, once we land on our feet here, we've got into the new house now. Now we got to wait for a month or two for everything to settle down financially. Got to wait for the lawyers to do their thing, for the banks to do their thing. And then we got to coast for a month or two just to get used to our new bills and our new payment plans and stuff. Which well, shouldn't take long because it's like a third of what we had on our shoulders before. So once we get a little bit, we'll have a little bit more extra money. Well, actually, I have a lot more money because now that we sold the house, both our vehicles are paid off. This pickup is paid off. My wife's terrain is paid off. Uh, so that's, <laughs> believe it or not, that's $1,000 a month in payments gone. Oh, it feels good to even just say that. So yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of extra money to play around with, and we're gonna use a little bit of that money to get this truck professionally detailed, okay? And Britt can get her vehicle detailed, whatever she wants as well, and then we're going to start uh, our plan on saving to build the house. But for now, we gotta go back to trucking. You guys tuned into this vlog because you thought we'd be trucking. So I'm just at Timmy's here, I'm gonna get my coffee. We'll get over to the truck. Hello, can I get food today? Can I get an extra large coffee with two cream, two shots of espresso in it, and a sausage biscuit, and 10 assorted Timbits? 10 assorted Timbits, you said? Yeah. Anything else for you today? Nope, that'd be it. Okay, so that'll be 1041 at the window, please. Super duper. Still haven't found my awesome possum. It's good to be back.
There you are. I know, I know, you're a little angry. I know, I was gone for a long time, I understand. I'm back, I'm back, don't be mad at me. I know I was gone for a very long time this time. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a lot of this truck in the next long while. We gotta make up some miles. over here, over in Vankler, the other side of the river. So I gotta pick up a load here apparently on Airport Drive. It's going to Racine, Wisconsin. And we'll visit our nice dairy farmer friends in Wisconsin. Diesel, there's lots of cows there. Lots of cows, lots of milk, lots of cheese, lots of beer. We're here, Diesel. Oh, Make sure we're straight. These lines are worn off of here already. Looks good to me. I know, I'm always a bag of mixed emotions. I'm happy to be back in the truck. I'm sad not to be at home. And then I get home and I'm I'm mostly just happy when I'm at home. <laughs> but I do miss the road. I mean, not the same way I miss home when I'm gone, but it's it just feels good to be productive again. Not that I wasn't productive this whole week. You saw me every day. Was, there was so much to get done. I am sore. My feet are killing me. I feel like there's like a, a stake almost going from my heel up to my knee, especially on my left side and my right knee. It's just just sore and I'm just yes I'm complaining and I'm whining and I see the comments already stop whining trucker Josh diesel they're whining about my whining again but my point is that we were productive we got a lot done we had a lot to do and I'm I'm happy and you know what as far as I know with the way me and Britt were talking like she's really happy as well at least she's told me that she is <laughs> You never know with wives. Are you happy? Are you sure? <laughs> no, she's happy. I'm happy. I'm just joking around. And uh, I think we've made a good move. Our family supports us in this. Our bills are going to be cut in a third, pretty much. And both our vehicles are paid off. Much less to maintain. And we have the land outside of town uh, that we take possession on later this week. So next time I'm home, we can go down there and sniff around a little bit we'll take the boys for a run there then and show them the property because they haven't seen it yet so then we can start dreaming about uh where we're gonna build when we're gonna build looking forward to it but for now let's uh let's enjoy this part of our life trucking nothing quite beats the smell of diesel fuel in the morning and the hum of the tires as you fly down the highway. It's a feeling I can't really explain. Some like it, some don't, but if you like it and it gets in your system, watch out. You're gonna be hooked. Whew. Almost fell asleep. That took a lot longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. We're done now, we're loaded. I'm gonna close the doors. Throw on the seal and head to Wisconsin.
And from there, I believe I've got a load coming out of Illinois that's going into Southern Ontario, I think. Let's see, what are we dealing with here? Let's, what should it look like? Oh, that's why it took so long. I see, on two levels. I didn't know they were gonna do that. Huh. I guess I'm gonna need to go and get some load securement. There's supposed to be securement in the trailer. Does this trailer not come with its own straps? Well, usually they have at least two straps in every trailer. I wonder if they left them at the front. That wouldn't, wouldn't be very nice. Okay, I'll go get my own. I'm delivering the trailer, so it doesn't matter if I use my own. Then I know I will get them back. I believe that we're ready to rock and roll. I, I do believe. Lock ourselves in so we don't fall out. You have 11 hours and 28 minutes of remaining drive time. All right, how much American time do we have? Because we're going to the US. We have nine hours and 28 minutes of remaining drive time in the United States. That's where we're headed now. We want to Racine, Wisconsin. Racine, Racine, Racine? Looks like we're gonna be a little bit in a rush. I have to hammer down, pedal to the metal. I can't quite make it there today on my hours of service. We'll get close by. Probably around like, I wanna get past Minneapolis. That would be nice or somewhere there. I don't know, it depends how late I wanna drive. Cause right now it's 2.30 already. It took a lot longer to load than I had thought. I didn't know that there was gonna be two levels that they were loading. That always takes a lot longer. Our trailers do have those two levels, but you know, I thought it was just quickly throw 20 pallets in there and we'll be on our way. meters, turn right on, First Street, Highway 32. But I mean, it's okay. Not a big deal. We'll work with this. We'll just have to uh, hurry up a little bit more than we thought we would be hurrying. But diesel. 300 meters. We can do it, right? right on, First Street, Highway 32. If I get tired, you'll take over, right? Good boy. Good boy. See? We'll be just fine. The legendary state of North Dakota. Where everything's going on. Everything. Everything you want to do. Everything that's hip and cool. North Dakota. Hashtag mask up. <laughs> well, they got a new sign here. Nice. Welcome to North Dakota. Be legendary. Oh, that's different. It used to just be North Dakota. Legendary. Now it's now they're now they're telling you now you got to do something. Oh, now they're bringing us into this. Okay, now it's not just legend. Now it's be legendary. You heard him, Diesel. North Dakota, be legendary. I'm already legendary, man. Look at me. Yeah, there's not too many weasels like you, but I agree. Well, I will do my best, North Dakota. I will do my best to be as legendary as I can. I made an amazing discovery, or a realization, an epiphany. It's only Wednesday. When I'm filming this, that means I only have to deliver this on Friday. I thought today was Thursday, so I was rushing to get there by tomorrow. I'm only supposed to deliver this the day after tomorrow, so I got plenty of time. I don't have to rush, so I stopped for a nap. It was glorious. We're here in uh, Grand Forks at the Simonson. I could barely keep my eyes open. I was so tired, I was thinking to myself, Diesel, well, I was thinking of Diesel. Diesel, hey, how was I gonna get all the way down to Wisconsin by tomorrow? I'm so tired, it's been such a long week and all the moving, the stress and everything was just hitting me all at once. And then it hit me. It's only Wednesday. We got time. So we stopped for a nap. I feel way better now. I feel like myself again. I'm gonna go to the other side of Grand Forks, grab some fuel and a coffee at the Flying J there and be in our merry little way. According to uh, 
our GPS here, our GPS, our whatchamacallit, our e-log GPS, one of the two, I don't know, they all yell at me. According to this uh, e-log thing here. You have four hours and 34 minutes of remaining drive time. We got some time to drive yet. So let's go a little further down the road. Less for us to do tomorrow. Oh, it was such an amazing moment when it hit me. They only want this on Friday. Friday is not tomorrow. That was wonderful. Sometimes you just really need a nap. I'm not much of a napper all the time, but it was it was much needed. I'll make sure I don't tear anybody's bumper off because that would ruin the whole day. There we go. Someone will be happy now that I opened up a parking spot for them. So I want to go further down there. I'm ready to go trucking now. Everything started hitting me. I wasn't tired when I left. I was feeling great. It just like suddenly hit me like a sack of bricks. Just whoa. It's either, I thought I was just gonna have to be late because I was, I can't stay awake. I'm just gonna have to be. Nope, I'm still gonna be early. Subway. Dinner of champions for today. Dinner for this champion anyway. Hi. You see what I'm doing here? All right. So we have, speak to me. We have, we have. You have four hours and two minutes of remaining drive time. Oh, that's lots of fun to be had today yet. Okay, let's do it. It's that time of day again. Sorry, Diesel, am I talking right into your ear? I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's that time of day again. Such a good boy. You know, you are the most loved weasel on the face of the planet. The whole planet, man. The whole world. The whole world, man. That's nice. So we found ourselves at a rest area uh, before Minneapolis. Since I realized that I don't have to deliver this load tomorrow, I'm supposed to deliver it on Friday, uh, I was able to take it a little easier, a little less stress. And since I had my nap, I was able to get this together for your enjoyment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Either one, it helps me because either one, either way, it tells YouTube that people are engaging with my video and that maybe other people want to engage with it too. I prefer the thumbs up though, that's just my preference, but it's up to you. Uh, you can leave me a comment down below that does the same thing for me. And if you want to do even more for me, share this video on your social media and you know, if you like it, maybe your friends will like it too. We make a new video every day. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Good night, everyone.